A tracking or dolly shot can add a professional look to your videos, and I'm going to show you how to achieve that look for about five bucks. To make the $5 mini camera dolly, you're going to need some PVC, some nuts and bolts and lock washers, a mini tripod ball head, and some roller blade or scooter wheels. I have an old pair of roller blades that I don't use anymore and I could have used those wheels, but I wanted to use some nice new clean ones for this project. So let's get started with the wheel assemblies. I'll be using two inch by quarter inch bolts lock washers and nuts for this. The first thing we'll need to do is drill a quarter inch hole through this PVC insert. So out to the shop where I secured it in a vise and used a quarter inch bit to drill a hole right in the center of this insert. We'll make four of these for the entire project. The bolt will go through the wheel and we'll add a quarter inch nut on the other end and a wrench and screwdriver will be used to tighten it down a bit. Then the bolt will go through the outside of our insert and we'll add a lock washer inside along with another nut and then I used a flathead screwdriver inside the insert to hold the nut while I tightened it all down. Our first wheel assembly is done and things are rolling right along. And of course we're going to need four wheels so we'll duplicate that process three more times. When you're done you'll have four wheel assemblies for our dolly. Now we're going to need five small pieces of PVC pipe so I have a length that I measured out one and three quarter inches back out to the shop with my hacksaw and I cut five of these small pieces of PVC pipe. A three quarter inch T is next and we'll be adding two of those small pieces of PVC on both sides of this T. Go ahead and press those firmly in place. Then to that T assembly we'll add two elbows to each of those inserts. This will form the top of our dolly. Now it's time to finish up the two wheel assemblies we made earlier and we're going to be inserting each of those wheels into one end of a T. Then we'll squeeze in another insert into the remaining port of that T. And we're going to duplicate this so that we have our two wheel assemblies ready. Now it's time to finish up the body of the dolly by taking the top part that we built and inserting it into both wheel assemblies. Our mini camera dolly is done, but now we need a way to add a camera to it. Then we'll take the last remaining three quarter inch plug that we drilled a hole in and a half inch by quarter inch bolt and lock washer and stick that through the bottom. Then we'll take our adjustable ball head, which is what we'll mount the camera to, and we'll put the screw into the bottom of that and secure it tightly. Then that gets inserted in the top T of our dolly and we're done. Because nothing's been cemented in place, this gives us the ability to turn the wheels so we can make arcing dolly moves. Now it's just a matter of mounting our camera to the ball head and get shooting. Our mini camera dolly works great and makes nice smooth tracking moves. And other than the potential cost of buying wheels if you don't have any, should cost you just about five bucks to build it. Since I love filmmaking, I've been listening to a book by my favorite B-movie actor Bruce Campbell. He talks all about making the Evil Dead series. It's hilarious. I downloaded it from Audible, who supports my show and helps me make videos for you. They have over 180,000 titles in every genre imaginable. And you can listen anytime, anyplace with the free Audible app on your smartphone, Amazon device, tablet, or computer. It's easy to get started. Try Audible, start with a free book courtesy of me, Kip K, get the free app and enjoy all the great membership benefits. So get your free audiobook right now by going to audible.com slash Kip K. Now when you do that, not only do you get a free audiobook, but you're helping me make more videos for you. That's audible.com slash Kip K. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.